Today we are going to demonstrate how to use the Manage Switchport Mapping Tool to map a Juniper EX2200 switch with the number of devices connected to it. The first thing we have to do before mapping the Juniper is to set its IP address and the other settings necessary to talk to it using SNMP. We put its IP address in here and set it for version 2C with these defaults. Then we test the device to make sure it works. We received pings. We were able to communicate with it with SNMP and it passed the switch tests. We press OK and then we can begin mapping the switch. We're mapping the switch now. The first thing it's doing is using the ping sweep over the range of IP addresses we specified and now it's beginning to fill the grid with information about the switch. It's using SNMP to retrieve this information. It's resolving IP addresses and now it's retrieving LLDP information. When the switch mapping is done you can optionally see a web-based browser report about the switch including basic information about the switch, the interfaces, if it were stacked it would show here, and the used and unused Ethernet ports on the switch. There are other pieces of information that also appear like link aggregation if that were enabled on this switch. A couple of interesting things about mapping Juniper switches as you can see here in the VLAN column normally we just have one VLAN number. Well, that's the actual internal VLAN number and this is the VLAN ID that they use for the actual user to see. It's called a VLAN tag. And you can also see that each port has two entries, a logical port and a physical port. So everything appears on the logical port. Right here you see the LLDP information. Down here you can see that this is our uplink to our Netgear switch and in, the, in each case these others are just direct connections to other switches and you only see one device but here you see many different devices so what we use is LLDP to define what the actual physical connection is in this case it's 202 and you can see here that it's the uplink to the Netgear switch these are other devices attached to the Netgear switch and we see those because the Netgear switch is uh, effectively mirroring those to us as with any completed switch mapping, you can right click in the grid to get various things you can do like printing, exporting to XML so that you can import it directly into Excel or OpenOffice, and you can do other things like Telnet to the switch, things like that. You can also pull up the switch properties. In this case it shows some of the same things that are shown in the web report that we showed earlier. In order to export our data into the Tenscape visual mapping system, what we do is press this button and save our file for Tenscape. Now we're going to import our JSON file into the Tenscape visualization system. Click on Switch Port Scan and then select Files select the mapping JSON file it uploads and pretty soon we'll have an output in the form of a map showing the connected devices right here we have our switch I'm going to zoom in on it then I'm going to click on the plus sign to expand it and it shows the connected devices you can see that each of the switches shows both ends the port names of both ends. It shows the IP address of the switch, the type of switch, and the VLAN, and the speed. The Tenscape visualization system allows you to export the information as an image or as PDF. You can add more to the drawing yourself manually, and you can change annotations and show or not show labels as necessary. You can also move things around to suit your needs. 
This has been a quick demonstration of how to use the Manage Switchport Mapping Tool to map a Juniper switch and export its information to the Tenscape Visualization Program. Thank you.